Hi there, I'm here at the booth of Illigu on Formnext 2024 with Coco and she will explain us what's the great news about the Illigo Centauri. Coco, the Illigo Centauri is Illigo's first fully enclosed Coex Y FDM 3D printer, right? Yes. So what made you move from the normal bed slingers to bring out this Coex Y printer? When, you know, we actually got like a, a very successful, I mean, sales in my, you know, our previous like Neptune series, which is the bed slinger structure. And uh, recently, uh, last year, our sales revenue also reached uh, like uh, nearly 200 million US dollar. So this year, we were also expecting uh, a 30 to 50 percent increase. That's huge. Yes. Actually, our R&D team is also trying to find like the different ways to from the productive side to get us to a wider user uh, groups. So that's why we come up with our Coxy product, which uh, we want to make a product is like more easier or like more user friendly for the beginners. You just maybe get it out from the box and also plug. I mean, to set on the control panel and also to plugging and mm -hmm. actually you are ready to go. So yes. That's why we get it like our first thing close to the uh, Coxy structure product coming up. So what are the key specs of this printer? Maybe first, I think uh, I can introduce a little bit from the structure itself. It's, I'm not sure if actually you noticed the, the top frame. It's yes. Like also like, it's like one piece. It's like ah. a die casting. And also the bottom frame is also, we are using the die casting uh, for the top and also bottom uh, integrated uh, structure. And also the pillar, the full pillar is also like enhanced the thickness of the material. So it's massive rigid build, but yeah, because of using aluminum, it's Yes, still lightweight. Like uh, the top and also bottom frame together with the pillars together, you already like uh, integrated a very solid like a structure for it. And then also, you know, the panel, the panel at each side, we also, yes. yeah, it's also quite solid. Ah, so yeah. makes this product is the reliable as well as like stable. So that's why, you know, when Right now we are talking, you can actually hardly hear the printing noises from the printers. Even yeah. when I put my ear yes. close to it, I hardly can hear it. I can hear a little bit of the rumbling from yeah. the print head, mm -hmm. but unlike other fully enclosed 3D printers, which began to shake like wild and to, to make a noise as if you are standing near a jet. You need to like, for example, put it uh, in your garage or like, uh, but right now it's quite quiet because it is comes from the structure. The you could of. you could put that one in your living room yes. while you're watching TV. Yes. Because exactly. you you nearly don't hear it. Yeah. So it's like uh, we, we we were trying to uh, get this product like uh, to we, we were expecting to get like the enclosed three D printer into like a more household item. So which means like it can be daily used in your living room or like in your study. And uh, you know the name the Centauri carbon. Actually, it's like two parts. Carbon means actually the material, the printing material. You know, the enclosed chamber actually we offers a wider, much wider uh, material like a, a, a capability. So you can go with like the uh, ABS. You know, the besides the normal uh, PLA, but also like a, a TPU, PTG, mm -hmm. yeah, and more widely. And uh, Centauri is actually a star system. Yes, I know it's it. It's like uh, the cloth cloth is the start to earth. So yes. it's like uh, we were trying to uh, also have like indication of this. It's like uh, getting a product which is like more to the common people. Yeah. Also, uh, besides that, uh, if I open the door, you actually see right now it's... Even though you can barely hear it. it I think I haven't seen such a quiet Coex Y printer by now. Yeah. Yeah, this actually all comes from the structure stability of it. Yeah. Also, right now you see the yes. uh, the yeah the the nozzle is actually printed very fast. It's like a, a, at like a, yeah around like a 250 millimeters per second, but actually it's quite uh, yeah. Stable. What is the maximum printing speed the uh, printer can do? Can... Today's video is brought to you by our sponsor PCBWay. I'm super grateful for their continued support that makes all of this possible. If you haven't checked them out, PCBWay offers PCB manufacturing in small quantities, perfect for iterating on your board design or even producing small batches of your final product. On top, they offer 3D printing and CNC machining services. If you're interested in that, definitely check out their website at pcbway.com.
We can reach to 500. 500? Yes. So you can print a Benji in about 14 minutes or less? Yeah, cool. within 15 minutes. Yeah. And also, uh, if you notice, actually we got like uh, the, the build plate here. Yes. Is we get this side is like the A side. And we, this, side, uh, this plate actually is like a dual plate, dual side plate. You can get this one is like the standard adhesion for it. And also the other side is like a more enhanced one. So, so you have a different coating, coating on, yeah, on, the on the surface. Yeah. So depending on the filament you want to print, you yes. choose the A side or the B side and yeah. you are good to go. And actually when you, because currently it's like a, during the printing process, but I, otherwise we, uh, we can show you like uh, uh, when you uh, start print, actually it will also have like the suggested uh, side for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like A side and also B side, so you can actually tell clearly. Does it have a heated build chamber or is it passively heated by the build plate only? Yeah, by the build plate. By the build plate yeah. only. But you also have like the vents setting here. It's vents here, you so you can like actually uh, turn on or like turn off the case fan. Yeah, so actually get like... So you have uh, somehow a control to keep yeah. uh, yes. the temperature yes. at a specific level. Yes. But there's no active heating. The heating is from the build plate only. Yeah, from the air product. Okay. And also, we got an AI camera here. So yes. the camera is like basically you have like two ways to be used. The first is like you can use it like for example real time monitoring. Mm -hmm. You can actually check like the printing process like a uh, real time via the for example slicer. So you can see how it goes. Like okay. If actually it detects any failure or any foreign matters on it, actually it will also send an alarm here. So it will yep. actually pause the ah, like so printing process. So you, you have the camera not just to do time lapses, yes. but also to keep an eye on the uh, printing process. Yes. And if anything goes wrong, it will be paused and the user gets a notification so he yes. can take an action yes. what he wants to do. Yes, like you want to continue printing or you just want to stop because yes. in that case you you will actually also save a lot for your material. Can you tell me something about uh, the firmware? Is yeah, it that? is it Clipper or is it something uh, no, else? No, it's like a fully uh, under development by our ah. own R&D team. You know, also the slicer for the Centauri Carbon is Elegu slicer. We also like develop it on our own, like uh, our own. So is the Elegu slicer a completely Elegu new slicer. development or is it based on, for example, slicer or Prusa slicer or Orca slicer? Uh, actually, you you can stay tuned. Then, you know, because when we actually get the product out we will also get a slicer to be launched at the same time so ah. you can actually hand on that hand, hand on it by that time at the same time okay so <laughs> nothing uh, revealed yet <laughs> and also i mean besides this we also get like you know because we get the feedback from the users it's about the school holder because mostly you know the um Ah, so we're getting at the back so actually it's not easy for you to get catch to see like yeah, all please. the uh, okay, the consumption of the filament right now, so we actually uh, put it at the side of it. Yeah, that was one of uh, the pain points I know from another manufacturer uh, <laughs> who put the spool holder yeah. at the back of his printer. Yes. And he got a lot of criticism from the uh, community for doing that. Yeah, because normally you had to fit, you had to like fiddle the behind the printer to change yeah. the spool, and maybe you didn't have the space when you put yeah. it against the wall. Yes, you yeah. cannot see it clearly as well as like a, it's quite close, maybe to the wall or something. Because yeah. normally you put it on the table, and you will like put it inside a little bit to keep it like you know at a stable place. Yeah. Does the printer recognize the filament I'm using, or do I have to dial it in myself? Uh, we just we we like uh, I mean for the loading system we do have some. Uh, that's things. that's the filament runout sensor, right? This is like uh, you know it, it it can detect like whether you got like filament shortage. So for example, right now you see there is a uh, yes. blue light here, so means like you got a filament in the in the in the feeding right now, and if you actually have like a filament the shortage, actually it will show like uh, another color, so it's like. Also Can you tell me a little bit about the calibration procedure? Mm -hmm. It has automatic bed leveling, I think. Yes. Basically, the leveling uh, procedure is like uh, you will go uh, 11 by 11. So it's in total is 121 like, uh, calibration dots. And we got like uh, four sensors at the uh, focus. That's a lot of points to probe. Uh, I guess it takes quite a while to do the probing. It takes like around, around 10 to 15 minutes. 
before you start. But actually, after you get it uh, once, mm -hmm. and uh, if you don't, I mean, to change the filament or something, actually, it is it. So you, you don't need to actually do the auto leveling all the time, just to press mine, and actually, you can just stop it. Then I finish this print, and mm -hmm. actually, uh, I can just take it out and also put the, put the uh, blade back, and then later, uh, I can just. Uh, uh, click uh, press and uh, it was done directly. And it also has input shaping for measuring the vibrations and increasing the print quality? Uh, yeah, it will have like the auto, you know, compensation on that part. Ah, so yeah. basically it's like a preset with the turn on the like the compensation on it. So basically during the print process it already did the compensation for mm -hmm. the final prints. Let me take a look. So this is like you can turn, turn on the fans. Yes. And also here is like so. So this is, this like is the menu. A, this is like a, you know during the printing process, like you can see like how many uh, layers you like uh, you you are being like working on and how many times like left. So this this is like also the indication of the Wi-Fi, and uh, you can also turn. This is like the light. The lights, yes. The camera, you can turn it on, or turn it off, <coughs> and this is the fan. You can also turn it on, turn it off, and uh, this is like indicating the temperature of the of the nozzle and also the temperature of the pop and also the chamber. And the yeah, basically the here settings. is you you know you can get like uh, the uh, printing the like preset print file, and this one is like if you put the put, put USB the, drive, uh, yeah. And this is like uh, you know the printing history. For example, right now you can see the bench we printed maybe like yesterday is like a fifteen uh, minutes, minutes. Yes. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, it's like a, a you, you, yeah. This is like a, the way. For example, when it will show like okay, the texture of the build plate, oh, the smooth build plate, like a side A and the side B. You will always like for example, you are using the other the wrong side. Or would I have? Yeah, you can choose on that one. It's yeah, right. I mean, if it's finished, we can actually test a little bit. And uh, here, uh, yeah, it's like the specification of like, uh, for example, during preparation, you are having like uh, the, you want to do something like manually, to, for example, after you print, you want to get the play, play out. Or, uh, here is the, about the temperature, you can set the note of mm -hmm. the temperature. And also here is the load and also unloading system of the filaments. So it's quite easy for you to uh, do it right now. Even though it's like the beginner users, you can just, uh, for example, uh, click upload. It will have like a process, uh, like um, uh, instruction yeah. for you. Like, uh, okay, uh, when is it and how you do next. So this is like the generally generally other settings. Also, we got like uh, the oh yeah, you can also you know mm -hmm. turn on or turn off the screen. For example, during the printing process, you don't want to get the you know deception things as well as like yeah, this is the information of the machine itself. By the way, it got like also internal storage of like uh, uh, eight gigabit. Oh, that's a lot of space for models. Yeah, you can put models inside as well as like the time lapse for it. If you can operate it. That's camera settings. Yeah, the camera settings. For example, if you want to. Ah, there's an the AI function. Lapse. Yeah, if you want to set a time lapse before prints, you can also set. And this is the AI detection. You want to turn it on or turn it off. Yeah. For example, you see you can like the frequency is like regular. We have like a, a standard detection, but also for example, if you want to pause print in case of like a, any abnormality, you can actually uh, you can actually select it. So in this case, because you know not everybody wants to get this set uh, like uh, you know with uh, like a, a uh, you know forced uh, alarm, so you can choose to get the alarm or not. So and, and also this we got like uh, the power loss. So when will the machine be out for sale so that one can buy the machine? We actually understand that there were like uh, you know a lot of users were asking like when we will release it or like when we will get it you know for them to buy. It's because currently it's the uh, Christmas season from yes. New Year so we don't want to get it uh, you know to be ruined by the by the promotion season, so uh, estimately we will actually get it out uh, by the first quarter of next year to have like. What price will it be? Uh, that that is something we didn't have like the exact information yet to be disclosed, but we definitely will share. I mean, as soon as we can. Okay. Coco, thank you very much okay, yes. for the interview. I'm looking forward to see that printer in the wild and have fun with it. Yeah, great. So stay tuned with it. You will love it. Bye. -bye. Bye.